you will recall that early in the fight against the fast track authority for these trade bills, the TPP, the TTIP, the TISA, all of these trade bills, which are um, really more about codifying our regulatory structure in a way that uh, corporations like it. One of the things that came up in the course of the development of the TPA, which is the Fast Track Authority, the Trade Promotion Authority, was that apparently Robert Menendez got into the bill a provision that said, if you are a Tier 3 country, there are three tiers. The State Department designates countries. Tier 3 is like Cuba, North Korea, Iran. Uh, it is basically saying that there's an extraordinary amount of human rights violations there. If you are a Tier 3 country and you are included in one of these trade deals, then the trade deal is automatically disqualified from fast-track authority. Many people saw this as perhaps a poison pill because Malaysia in 2014 was just dropped from Tier 2 to Tier 3 status by the State Department because of the enormous amount of slave labor and human trafficking that has been going on in Malaysia and, more importantly, the huge drop-off in 2013 of prosecutions about it. The number of prosecutions and investigations of the slave trade, essentially, and human trafficking in Malaysia cut in half in 2013, which indicates that the government is not terribly interested <laughs> in stopping this practice. So Malaysia, now a tier three country, is one of the countries that is involved, uh, one of the 12 countries in the TPP. And thus, fast track authority cannot be applied to the TPP. However, somehow, the State Department has decided, you know what? Even though there hasn't been any more investigations or any more convictions, there was a bill that came up in the Malaysian parliament, which did not pass, that would have strengthened regulations against human trafficking. And so... They're making an effort. Let's bump them up to t a tier two. This is going to cause a lot of, uh, of problems, I think, for the TPP. I don't know how many votes it's going to swing, but this is something for you to keep your eye on because this is going to be the one inflection point. This is going to be the one thing that may peel off some votes from the TPP, not so much in the Senate but in the House. We'll talk more about that as uh, in the weeks uh, to come.